Pack is a visual editor for React that lets you build your own page builder using your own components. And in version 19, it just got a lot more powerful. You can check the full release post in the description below, but in this video, I'll give you a quick run through of the new Slots API. The Slots API replaces the drops and component for nesting content with a cleaner, nicer field-based API for doing so. Let me guide you through an example and this will clarify everything. Let's say that instead of this article, we wanna let users nest some stuff so that we can have a header, a subheader and a paragraph. So the way that you will do this with slots is that you need to define a field for that nested content. In my case, I'm gonna name this children, but you can name this whatever you want. Inside of the article component where I wanna nest my content, I need to go into the fields and define the new field type for it. And then we need to type it as a slot. Then inside of the render function, we can access that prop children that will expose or that will give us access to the slot and its nested content so that we can position it or put it whatever we want inside of the component. Now this prop will actually be a render function. So I can call it like this or I can actually invoke it as a component. I personally prefer this, so I'm just gonna use it like this. Because these are just fields, you can use the same field APIs we were already using before with other fields. So for this case, let's actually show you how you can add a default header, subheader and paragraph in every single new article that you drag and drop into the editor. To do that, we're gonna go into default props and we're gonna say that for our children field, which is our slot field, we wanna have an array of component data. So I will want a header. Then I need to tell it what are the props I'm expecting for that header. So I'm just gonna come here, I'm gonna say body and I'm gonna name this header. Then I also need to add a subheader. And then I need to do the same for the paragraph. With this done, if we go now back into the editor and we drag and drop a new article, you will see that every single new article that you add into the canvas now always has this header, subheader, and paragraph that we are defining inside of these default props. 